Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1989 based on the arcade machine of the same name released by Atari in the arcades in 1985. If you watch this channel I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Paperboy because I've played it on absolutely everything and it was an arcade machine I loved in the arcades back in the day simply because it had that fuck off big pair of handlebars that actually had the grips I had on my actual BMX. Kids these days won't realise that when we were much younger, if you're of my generation, Generation X if you will, that this was a viable way to make a bit of extra money each week, uh, each day in fact. I'm pretty sure they would let kids do that now these days because they're all pussies. Anyway, <clears throat> so basically there are seven days of the week and there are three difficulty settings that you can see there and each day will get subsequently harder um, from the previous day because it has different challenges and stuff like that. At the end of each day, at the end of the street I should say, there is a um, course, an obstacle course where you can win extra points and stuff like that. You can pick up extra newspapers along the way because you will run out and obviously there are obstacles and stuff like that. All subscribers that you manage to replenish their, replenish? <laughs> their uh, mailbox or their doorstep we will carry over to the next day. Anything that you miss or break their windows will not be subscribers but anyone who's not subscribed that you break their windows will become a subscriber but good luck seeing the next day because I've not played this on the Atari ST yet but I have played the Amiga version and it's balls horrifically hard it's much harder than the 8-bit micro versions which are also by elite but they came out in 1986 and are banging uh, particularly the spectrum version and yeah the 8-bit versions uh, the, 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 the NES version shite but the master system version is absolutely banging anyway <clears throat> easy street uh, middle road and uh, I see what you did there and hard wav because it looks like a V and not a Y because look at there use a joystick to choose a route that's what a Y looks like anyway right so one far button which is hammer uh, which you hammer to throw your newspapers and you have accelerate or break that's it basically uh, and it's balls are really hard and I meant to it's balls are really hard because it's balls are really hard fire right Monday right so immediately this is a port, or it's more in line, I should say, with the 8-bit micro versions. Shit. But I still got that because you have... Hey, you can get back onto the curb when you're off the curb. You have the... No, you can't. The bezel on the right-hand side that shows your lives and your newspapers, which is what all the 8-bit versions did. That's not a subscriber, so I'm going to pelt his house. You can... Oh, shit. Playing this on my Super Console X. It gives you points for breaking the church window. That's just... Well, I'm not really this, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Never mind. <laughs> oh! Right. It's what's his name from King of the Hill. Yeah, if you go over the drain, it will kill you. If you stay in the road too long, a car will come. I... Assume, and the manhole covers. I'm assuming the bezel's there to keep speed up. However... I quite like it. Because... I like knowing how much I've got left in my stash. Yoink! Get back on! Oh, look at that! There's a cheat in the Amstrad version, whether or not it works in the 16-bit versions, which is you get just about here, and then... I'm at, oh, I've just missed more stuff. Everything misses you. Uh, obviously not the C5. It's not C5, I am aware of that. Because... You can't see your newspapers when you fire them. Yeah, because he's coming from left to right. Shit. All that. Why don't you just fucking wheelie up back over the curb, you pussy? Anyway, this looks pretty good. This looks rather decent, like the arcade. There is a massive lag between your normal speed and then pressing up to accelerate. Right, take the left course. Ah, oh, shit, because it's easy. Anyway, you... Oh, dear. Although it's an easy round tomorrow. You die on the obstacle course, and then that's it. End of your day. So it's pretty much like the Amiga, but it's in a far smaller window with the bezel to keep speed up, which, again... It's fine for me. Don't stay in the road. Are there no cars in this version? You want to just like stay slow. That's that's the temptation. But you shouldn't because when you get stuff like that, it's all. 
then shit finds your face really rather quite quickly. Yoink and him. Bollocks! That's it. Paperboy calls it quits. Uh, best 8 bit version, looks wise, is probably, well, not to the Master System version, is the Amstrad version, which is quite zoomed in, but it has no sound. But the best playing 8 bit version is the Xanax Spectrum version. Seriously, I have a gameplay of it, look it up. It really is a delight, if you will. Right, middle road, let's try that. I mean, I made it to Tuesday with two subscribers, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do on this one. Right. See, I couldn't get off the curb then. I, why are you down? I, well, I hit the curb then. I couldn't get off the curb then because there was a drain. It's consistently... Oh! It's balls are rifty hard as all the other versions. Because, you know, I would say that it's harder than the arcade game, I really would. Alright, where's the breakdown, sir? What am I supposed to do? Ah! Hey, I missed his windows. Skyrocketed it over the house. But, it looks apart, it does. Small window or not. Let's see, there's a car. Right. If you like this in the arcades though, back in the day, and this was the only way you could play it. Well, you're pretty much doing quite well. Because it looks the part. It really, really does. It's harder than the arcade. I'm out. I'm not even that. I am out of paper snap. No, I'm not. Half the time you think you're out of papers, you're not. It's just you can't see them when you fucking lob them and shit. Where's this car going? Yoink. Did these people just hang out and wait? To be fair, I would if it was a paper boy like this. Why not? Fuck them. You have to file taxes as well. Oh, hey! Hey, come on! Yeah, like, fuck you, buddy. Oh! Move! Wait, what? There aren't supposed to be people on that bit! I've got one customer left. <laughs> I'll take those apples. That's my kind of easy street. Get off your bike and just walk. Take some form of weapon for self defense as well. Just walk it and then lamp anyone who comes near you. Fuck it! I mean, is it more restrictive in your movement because you've got such a small play area? Don't know! Oh! Shouldn't that be death? I don't mean me, but death is in there, isn't he? He should be in it, sorry. Yes! Get some of that in your life. Build a bastard. Oh shit. That is a satisfying noise, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, look. Slow, slow, slow. Accelerate, accelerate. Oh, shh. Yeah, the, there's a delay. I find didn't making my voice go stupid like that. Aids me. Assists me, if you will. I'm at papers. I've got papers. I miss papers. <laughs> I miss papers. You know, I still like the physical act of reading a paper. Everything online doesn't always necessarily work. Why hit me? I have no idea what hit me then. Right. So, Paperboy calls it quits. I don't blame him. Everyone's trying to fucking kill him. Shall we try the last difficulty level? And then we'll go back to one more try on Easy Street. Spoilers! It's not. Although, it might be for you. Oh! Can I? Yes, I can. I'm clenching. <laughs> oh, it's definitely a smaller play field. Not just the obvious reason, the bezel, but, you know, obviously to keep it speed up, which we discussed, but, yeah. I feel it does restrict your movement. Not massively such. What even hit me? Oh, that. You can't even... See, it is too restricted because you can't even see where, um, the manhole cover is. I had to think about what the word was then. Until... Fucking hell, it's like Indiana Jones. Until you, um. You're oh, too late, basically. Oh, sorry. I'm hammering because I can't see if I've thrown any papers. Move! I can't think such a little pussy ass dog can kill me. Yoink! Yoink! Shizen balls! This is brutal. To be fair, 
It's, well, it's not brutal on every other version. It's brutal on the Amiga. But it's not brutal on the... Sp well, it is. But the first level is not as brutal as this. Even though this is the third difficulty rate. You know what I mean. One will go on easy street. Right. It's memorization. I am aware of that. Which means I destroyed my memory in the 90s. Think about it. Uh, so, I'm fucked. <laughs> And also, you have to fire ahead of uh, ahead of time. Get on, get on, get on! Shit! You can't go around it. Well, not really in this version because you can't even fucking see it. It's literally in your face. But obviously, everything else can make it to the road as well. No way, because you can't see that. Yeah, that's a bit of a flaw. Oh shit, balls! I was doing better on the more difficult levels. Also, for some reason, lining up with your papers. Replenning your ammunition, if you will, it's quite difficult. I think, though, the Amiga's probably slightly better because it's got a bigger play area, but all the 8-bit versions, apart from the, the NES and the Gunmore 64, are great. And the Master System version, I mean, we thought that was okay, perfect back in the day. It wasn't, but it's pretty damn close. It's amazing port, though. Get back up. Oh, you motherfucker. One more. One more. I'm not saying last go, because I just can't promise that. There is a Paperboy 2. It's not done by Elite. Uh, it is done by Atari in the arcades, and all the ports are shite. I just rode over the... Just rode over the... Uh, oof! Yoink! The drain. Sorry. Talking and playing. Not my bag, baby. Oof! Also, this game was featured in first class, wasn't it? Is there any reason anyone watched that? Look at my recent vlog. I was convinced I was going to miss him there. Hey! What? New! No. Can't move! I like the fact that they don't even slow down. It's like, that's that paper boy. Gun it! So there is a fine line where you can avoid the obstacles, like I said, I mean when they build walls, because who builds a wall across the fucking pavement? Uh, and you don't have to worry about going in the road. Which is basically on the curb there. But you've got to keep your speed up, because... Stuff. <laughs> it's paper boy, you know what I mean. Stuff. Stuff finds your face. I got it in the paper, the paper box, but I got no um, funny noise. Right, I'm going, no, I've got to speed up because of the car. Now I'm going slow. But you can't go too slow. Ooh! If you go too slow, you won't make the drink. The drink. The jump over the drink. Shit! What happens is you get to the end and there's a fuck off big set of bleachers with all your mates on. You go, hooray! And you get a bonus. I got three left. Um, oh, that's a lot of work now. Yeah. I don't know if it gives you extra lives or you get a high enough score and stuff like that. Anyway. Whoa! I have no idea what fucking noise that was then. Piss off, you dog bastard. Ugh. Ew! See, where do I go? Because if I'm on the left, there'll be a drain. If I'm on the right, then there'll be a manhole cover. I can't believe I made it around then. Oh, and he's still in there. No! I definitely feel that they ramped this up compared to the arcades. And the thing is, I know our games are a little bit more difficult back then to, you know, pad out their length and shit like that, but this is a game where it becomes rapidly too frustrating too quickly and you can't be asked to play it. Oh, I can. Yoink! Ooh! What are you digging there for? <laughs> Why do I care? It's a video game. Logic does not exist. What are those things? Shit. Well, that's what they are. They're shit. Anyway, Paperboy on the Atari ST suffers from the same problem as the Amiga version. It's too brutally hard. Possibly a little bit more brutal because the view is more cut down. But I kind of like it because I like seeing, you know, like the 8-bit version or the Spectrum version, I should say. I like seeing how much ammunition I got left. 
Anyway, as always, I love Nordic, especially if you played this on the Atari ST back in the day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.